Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing video, I'm gonna be doing a step-by-step -step beginner's guide to drawing a scorpion. The equipment that I'm using for today's video, I'm using three different pencils. I'm using a 2H pencil, an HB and a 2B. I'm using a kneaded eraser and I'm also using a blending stump. Now for those of you guys that have been with my channel for a while now, you'll know that I'm into drawing realistic artwork, uh, cartoon work and realistic graphite pencil drawings. Uh, but I've recently been asked uh, by a few people over on Facebook and Instagram if I could do some quite basic beginners uh, tutorials. Uh, and I, I thought it was quite a good idea actually because I know uh, when I first started drawing myself going and looking at a lot of the videos on YouTube um, some of the fantastic videos and fantastic art that people are producing, it's almost a little bit um, disorientating and it's a little bit demotivating sometimes watching them because sometimes the, the skills that people are showing are so far in advance of what, uh, what you're looking at or where you are uh, at that moment in your life that it can be, like I say, a little bit demotivating. So I think this is a really good idea. Um, so I'm starting off by uh, I'm drawing some basic shapes for this scorpion, which is uh, what we're going to end up with. Uh, now, if me most of you have seen any of my work before, uh, you will know that when we are looking at trying to draw something um, from a reference image or from real life, it's, it's really important to try and break things down into some simple shapes. And what you'll see with this is you'll see some uh, rectangular shapes, you'll see some circular shapes. If you can find triangles in things, that quite often helps. So as you can see, I started with a rectangular shape, uh, which had a slightly tapered edge. And then for the tail, I'm using a series of uh, oval type shapes, not quite circles, uh, getting gradually smaller towards the tip of the tail. And I'm just making sure that that curls round in a quite a natural looking way. For the legs of the scorpion, again, I'm using some basic shapes. I'm using some sort of cylindrical shapes or some rectangles. And it's really important that you just get the general direction of these things. Now, as this drawing starts to develop, I'm gonna be going through some ideas of, of how to make something look slightly more dimensional. Um, like I said before, this isn't going to be a photorealistic drawing by any means. Uh, this is quite a rudimental drawing, but I'm just going to hopefully just start to get across some of the basic ideas, tips and techniques that are required uh, for you to make your drawings uh, become more accurate and more realistic as you, uh, as you progress.
So I've almost got the basic layout of this scorpion down now uh, and what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to go over it with a slightly darker pencil. I always like to do my rough sketches with a 2H pencil because it's very easy to make corrections with your eraser. If you go too dark to start with, uh, so if you go with a two, uh, 2B or an HB pencil and you press on too hard, it's very difficult to make corrections and this is probably one of the most important tips that I can give to you guys is always start very light. A 2H or a 4H pencil is perfect uh, and then, like I say it, it does allow you to just make some corrections um, as, as you're going on the fly uh, and this is, a, this is something that I do whether I'm doing a realistic graphite drawing or even my cartoon work. I do start with a very light pencil. So as I'm uh, getting towards the end of the layout, I'm quite happy with how this scorpion's looking. I've got the right shapes in the right areas. And what I'm now going to do is I'm just gonna start going over with an HB pencil, which is slightly darker. And I'm just going to start adding a few more of the details, the finer details, and just get the final shape uh, exactly how I want it to go before I start adding value uh, and shading into uh, the rest of the drawing. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my channel, um, having some great success with it. I hope that this series of drawings is going to help some of you out there. I'm going to be trying to do one of these um, beginners type step by step narrated tutorials uh, once a week, as well as my normal realistic work. So um, let me know if this is something that interests you and if there's anything you'd like me to draw. Uh, if there is, uh, leave me a comment down below or get hold of me on social media. I'm, um, I'm available on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I would, uh, I'd love to hear from you and hear what you think. Uh, the next part is time lapse and I'm going to be adding some value into the darker areas. And uh, One tip I've got for you is make sure you uh, go darkest on the outer edges and where the light is uh, going to be least present. So underneath rims and around the edges of, of legs and the tail. But that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe. Smack the notifications button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.